so today we're going to go over how I tune and balance jerk baits. What you're going to need: clear container of water, exacto knife, jerk bait. This is a, a deep uh, shadow wrap. Suspend dots or suspend strips. Then optional, any old super glue will work. Uh, sometimes you don't need it if the dots have good adhesion. All right, so let's take a look and see what this shadow wrap deep does without any modification. So, in my opinion, that rose too quickly and it rose nose up. I know that's how they're designed. Um, that's how they're marketed. Um, but let's see what we can do to change that to how I like it. So to get it to go nose down, um, several things you could do. You could wrap wire around the front hook. Um, you could add a heavier hook on the front. Um, those two options, from my experience, sort of kill the action on a jerk bait. You want a nice rolling uh, motion, and when you add a heavier hook or lead wire to the front hook, it um, sort of diminishes that nice body roll. So I'm going to take uh, one suspend dot and put it just behind the lip. like so and let's see how the jerkbait behaves now and so slower rise um, you know if we were to use a uh, split ring to um, a snap connection that might do the trick but I, I usually don't like to use snaps so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just take off a little bit of the most caudal or most posterior with an exacto knife Because I do like slow rising, but nose down. And just, just, just want to just make a little line um, with the exacto knife. That's usually all you need to do, and then it'll just pop right off, like so. Now let's see. Very close to neutral buoyancy. Going to take off just a little bit more of that most posterior one. And that is Extremely slow rise, and then keep in mind that the colder the water gets, the more buoyant an object is in the water. So I think that's going to be perfect. I'd say this water temp is about 75 degrees. But in 40 degree water temp or 50 degree water temp, that's going to slowly rise. Shaved off just a little bit more, so I'd now call that two and uh, maybe two fifths. And that's that's ideal. That's how I like it. So these suspend dots are fairly fresh out of the package and I didn't need to use any of the super glue, um, but yeah, if you've got an old package of suspend dots or suspend strips, you might need to use some 
uh, just regular old super glue to improve the adhesion. Um, and any old super glue will work. This is, I think, from a 99 cent store. Um, the fancier super glues, the super gels, um, those are good for, keep those for um, fixing baits. And So these are some of the jerk baits I have, which I've already tuned. Um, so we're going to test some in the water, uh, in the pool, and uh, they're going to all be about the same buoyancy. Um, the differences are going to be in how much body roll, how much side to side, and uh, how much sound or how little sound they make. 